टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द न्यू टर्म्स कंसेप्ट ऑफ द वेव पैकेट डेफिनेशन ऑफ फेज वेलोसिटी एंड ग्रुप वेलोसिटी एक्सप्रेशन फॉर फेज वेलोसिटी एंड ग्रुप वेलोसिटी एंड लास्ट पॉइंट रिलेशन बिटवीन ग्रुप वेलोसिटी एंड पार्टिकल वेलोसिटी द फर्स्ट पॉइंट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ वेव पैकेट here we firstly mention here wave packet described as a particle now in such a case you must understand about the particle what about the particle according to the classical theory we know that the particle can be well localized in a space because its definite position and momentum can be determined simultaneously with arbitrary precision but according to the quantum theory if we just understand about the wave that wave is delocalized in the classical theory particle is a localized since it has definite position and momentum here wave is delocalized such a wave is spread out in the space and it extend from minus infinity to plus infinity with time hence the idea of position of the particle in such a delocalized wave is not definite also in the quantum mechanics wave is interpreted as being related to the probability and that probability of locating the particle at any instant of the time we take into consideration such a probability term is represented by wave function it is function of x y z t r now c r according to the de broglie hypothesis a particle of momentum p is associated with a wave and that wave has definite wavelength but wave is delocalized then how we explaining here also the moving material particle of velocity v associated with a wave that matter wave once moves with velocity equal to u or vp and it is related by relation vp is equal to c square by v or u is equal to c square by v here c is the velocity of light and v is the velocity of the moving material particle according to special theory of relativity we know no any material particle can move with velocity equal to or greater than velocity of light it means v should be very small in comparison with c and if v is the smaller then this phase velocity or the velocity of the de broglie wave should be higher and we say that u is greater than c that is the velocity of the de broglie wave it moves faster than velocity of light but in actual practice it is impossible according to special theory of relativity it means de broglie matter wave its nature is different than that of the light all that difficulties these are overcome by de broglie and he proposed that the particle must be represented by a wave packet such a wave packet is a result of group of the waves formed by superposition of large number of waves traveling with their individual phase velocity 
that phase velocity is greater than c according to that relation and they form a standing wave system about the particle it means if the wave packet is localized all that here these waves must be confined in very small region and within that region particle is definitely to be find according to the quantum mechanics therefore that is the one term wave packet is confined to the small region that we just see here this is a group of the wave which is confined to a very small region and within that here this region the effect of particle is to be concentrated at a given instant of the time now it is possible to find the approximately the definite position of the particle within the region of the wave packet hence that wave packet is a localized since within very small region the particle is confined and its approximately position and the momentum we can determine according to the quantum mechanics and hence the wave packet is a good representation for the particle such a wave packet has the same wavelength that we discussed earlier lambda is equal to h divided by p and that here this term is a localized single wave packet now we just see the wave packet what is that here this terms as per earlier discussion wave packet is a result of group of the waves that group of the waves having slightly different wavelength or frequency and phases such a group of the wave once interfere with one another then we get resulting amplitude of the wave or it form a one envelope that envelope is varied only in the neighborhood of the particle such a envelope or the wave packet moves with velocity known as group velocity this velocity is equal to particle velocity it means the group velocity of the wave packet is same as particle velocity that we prove in this lecture now how we construct the wave packet for that purpose we considering the two waves whose angular frequency and propagation constant is slightly different these two waves are represented here just like if these two waves superimpose we get a one resulting wave packet that wave packet moves with the velocity that velocity we call group velocity and this group velocity is exactly same as the particle velocity here the two waves psi 1 whose angular frequency is omega and k other is slightly different angular frequency and k means omega plus delta omega and k is k plus delta k here therefore we define the two terms phase velocity and group velocity phase velocity how we define the velocity with which the individual matter wave associated with material particle once that material particle moves the related velocity we call phase velocity or in the other way it is the another definition the rate at which the phase of the wave propagate in the space phase velocity is given by one relation it is the ratio angular frequency to propagation constant k that we have to derive in the next time now see here the next term group velocity 
is the velocity with which velocity with which the group of the wave associated with material particle moves is called as phase velocity or it is the rate at which the envelope of the wave packet propagate through the space it is represented by one relation vz is equal to d omega by dk it is the that relation we have to derive here first of all we derive the expression for the phase velocity we consider a plane progressive wave wave when traveling in the positive x direction it is represented as psi xt is equal to a sin omega t minus kx here the k term we express in terms of omega and phase velocity or the particle velocity we can say the phase velocity here therefore that k we have to firstly simplifying here by using the relation 2 pi by lambda lambda we have to define velocity per unit frequency or we write here this 2 pi nu by u here simplifying 2 pi nu is the angular frequency omega by u here this k we have to substituting here in that equation and we write the a sin omega t a sin omega into bracket t minus x by here this u where a is the amplitude and k is the propagation constant here from that equation we also find this u term in terms of omega and k this u is known as phase velocity and it is the ratio omega by k but that velocity how it is the ratio distance by time that we have to finding firstly if we get the u is distance by time that term is we have to getting from the equation one then we say that phase velocity term is omega by k now for that purpose we write here in a given wave equation the phase angle is omega into bracket t minus x by u that phase angle we differentiate here with respect to t we get d phi by dt is equal to omega into bracket differentiation of t is 1 minus 1 by u differentiation of x is dx by dt that here these terms we write here now we write here at constant phase the derivative of the constant phase angle becomes 0 therefore in the earlier equation 3 omega take on the other side it becomes 0 bracketed term must be equal to 0 simplify the bracket only here dx by dt is equal to vp why we write the vp since displacement per unit time this is the phase velocity and that velocity is equivalent to velocity of the de Broglie wave we calculate earlier the de Broglie velocity of the de Broglie wave omega by k therefore in terms of omega and k the phase velocity we have to define omega by k and it represent the expression for phase velocity now we derive the another term for group velocity vz for that purpose we consider the two plain simple harmonic waves of the same amplitude but slightly different wavelength both traveling simultaneously in positive x direction in a given medium such a two waves represented by the two equations psi 1 is equal to a sin omega t minus kx second equation psi 2 is equal to a sin omega plus delta omega t minus k plus delta k x here when the two waves superimpose we get the resulting of the two wave that resulting wave is a amplitude modulated wave we have to getting here this psi is equal to psi 1 plus psi 2 substitute this psi 1 psi 2 in that equation and we get this a sin omega t minus k x plus a sin omega plus delta omega t minus k plus delta k x here use the trigonometric formula and we are again simplifying the earlier term formula is sin c plus sin d is equal to 2 cos 
c minus d by 2 into sine c plus d by 2. Using that formula, we get direct uh, substituting these two terms, separate 2 cos c minus d and into sine c plus d by 2. Now simplify this term, psi is equal to 2a, simplify c minus d means omega t minus omega will get cancelled, minus kx plus kx also get cancelled, only remain term is delta omega by 2, this is minus sign as it is, plus delta k by 2x cosine term into sine c plus d, you take the addition of this two one, sine 2 omega plus delta omega by 2, this is the coefficient of t minus 2k plus delta k by 2 coefficient of x here. Here, delta omega and delta k in the sign term only, these are very small in comparison with omega and k. Therefore, delta omega and delta k in the sign term to be neglected. Remaining term becomes psi is equal to 2a cos delta omega by 2t minus delta k by 2x into sin omega t minus kx. This equation 3 represent analytical expression for wave packet formed by the two waves. This resulting wave is amplitude modulated wave and in terms of omega and get this k. Therefore, what is the amplitude of the resulting wave? This is the coefficient of the sine term. That amplitude is denoted by R to A cos. Again, that resulting amplitude is in terms of x sin t. Means it is again the sinusoidal wave form resulting amplitude that we just see here. The resulting amplitude variation is in terms of x and t therefore the envelope is to be formed here if the two waves superimpose we get the resulting of these two the blue wave is represented as a individual matter wave and the red it is envelope this is the speed of the wave packet and therefore the velocity with which the maximum amplitude moves, it is also called as group velocity of the wave packet. At the time t equal to 0 and x equal to 0, the maximum amplitude is only 2a since cos 0 becomes 1. Therefore, we write the r maximum is equal to 2a. Suppose, the maximum amplitude moves to the position x dash to t dash. Very small change we just take into consideration. Then what is the phase angle here of the cosine term that is delta omega by 2 t dash minus delta k by 2 x dash that must be equal to 0. Simplify this equation and find the ratio x dash by t dash that ratio is delta omega by delta k this x dash by t dash displacement per unit time is velocity that velocity we write group velocity and that group velocity equal to delta omega by delta k in the limiting case as delta k tends towards zero then the group velocity is equal to d omega by dk and it represents the expression for group velocity. Hence both relations you know phase velocity vp is equal to omega by k and vz is equal to group velocity v is equal to d omega by dk. Then it is possible to find the relation between group velocity and particle velocity. We discussed earlier the group velocity of the wave packet is same as the particle velocity since the wave packet is a localized. That part we have to prove here. Again we use earlier equation. The wave packet moving with the group velocity Vz is equal to 
d omega by dk this d omega by dk we convert in terms of the energy and momentum hence we substitute e equal to h cross omega that we find earlier p equal to h cross k this is also we get earlier this term differentiate e term and p term therefore differentiation we write de is equal to h cross d omega or de by h cross d omega dp is equal to h cross dk or you write dp by h cross dk is d omega dk substitute in this equation and we get vz is equal to d omega by dk is equal to de by dp hence we get the another form of the equation for group velocity in terms of the energy and momentum that vz is equal to de by dp now we consider the two separate cases the case one non relativistic particle here particle non relativistic particle means particle moves with velocity less than velocity of light such a moving particle has energy kinetic energy in terms of the momentum e equal to p square by 2m and momentum you know m into v differentiate e term with respect to p therefore we write the de is equal to twice p dp divided by 2m dp we take here therefore de by dp is equal to 2p by 2m simplifying this term again mv by m that equal to v that is group velocity is equal to particle velocity now what it shows here for non relativistic particle its group velocity must be equal to particle velocity secondly for relativistic particle the particle moves with velocity equal to velocity of light or greater than velocity of light in such a case the energy is related by the equation e square is equal to p square c square plus m0 square c raised to 4 and p is equal to m into v differentiate this equation here m0 is the rest mass c is the velocity of light both are constant therefore derivative of the second term becomes 0 only we differentiate first term e square is equal to p square c square therefore it becomes twice e dE is equal to 2 p dp c square this p take on this side 2 e d by dp is equal to 2 p c square 2 to cancel we get d e by dp is equal to p c square by e again e is equal to m c square substituting here and simplify m v by m that equal to v that is v z equal to v in both cases it shows here the wave packet associated with non relativistic and relativistic particle travel with same velocity as that of the particle here in this lecture we clear about all the terms related to concept of the wave packet construction of the wave packet definitions of phase velocity and group velocity and their relations and finally we prove here the velocity group velocity of the wave packet is same as particle velocity now we see the next article we continue in the next lecture thank you